Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, dear customers, dear transformer operators and transformer manufacturers. So today we are here in our digital laboratory at MR Rheinhausen, Germany, and we are very pleased to have your attention for the upcoming minutes. Within this short online session, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to talk about one of the most important control functions in a power grid system. So we're going to talk about automatic voltage regulation, which is uh, realized by so-called AVR devices, automatic voltage regulators. For that reason, we brought Peter, one of our well-known experts here. So Peter, thanks for supporting us. So ladies and gentlemen, whenever power consumption is increasing, voltage in power grids is decreasing. And additionally, um, volatile network environments due to renewable energies are challenging you as a transformer operator. And therefore, every single operator has a need of regulating and managing the voltage level in the grid system accordingly. And uh, yeah, this is physically done by power transformers and on load tap changers, but supported by so called AVRs. Yeah, Peter, for today's session, we would like to focus on that topic, focus on mm -hmm. voltage regulation. So, may you please inform us, Peter, what is behind automatic voltage regulation? What is the, the principle behind that technology? Thank you, Stefan. Yeah, that is the main question. So, for the AVR, it's quite simple to explain. Well, we want to measure the output voltage of our transformer, and this is the value that we need to stabilize. So we take that voltage into the AVR, then we have a set point that you, the customer, decide, and then the AVR decides by itself automatically whether it needs to raise or lower the tap position of the connected on low tap changer. And by that, the voltage will be increased or decreased, so it comes back into the desired band. So that means the device, the, the voltage regulator, measures the voltage in the grid system. Exactly. And optimizes the voltage level automatically. Right? This is more Correct. or less the principle. Um, let's talk about intelligent solutions uh, which MR, so Rheinhausen, can offer to our customers. So our clients probably know the brand name Tapcon, which is well known in the in the market. Um, actually, there are several different versions available, or let's say different approaches. Uh, Peter, um, what versions are available? Maybe you can give us some more details. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of purpose or basic application can uh, our Tapcons uh, fulfill or realize? Thank you. Um, yeah. We have three main versions of Tapcons available, as you said. So the first one, you can see it right here in the middle, is the Tapcon 230. Uh, this is our basic version. There are three internal versions of that, a basic pro and expert. Uh, so with the expert, you also have full SCADA integration if you want. Then we have the Tapcon ISM, which is our 19-inch uh, premium version. So this is a very flexible voltage regulator, a standalone device, mm -hmm. uh, which can be used, for example, for special applications like bank paralleling, um, uh, three winding applications, or phase shifter transformers, just to name a few. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if you, as the customer, already have a monitoring solution by Rheinhausen, like ETOS, then it is only one simple addition in the software, quite similarly, if you add an app to your smartphone to add this AVR function into ETOS to have it available fully integrated. Okay, thank you, Peter. That means three basic versions, mm -hmm. basic approaches. Um, we have the Tapcon 230 uh, for all basic requirements in the network. We have the so-called Tapcon ISM, a premium device for Correct. special applications. And last but not least, um, we talk about an integrated function of the 
AVR function into the ETOS system, mm -hmm. into the cubicle which is uh, operating the tap changer, which is monitoring different parameters on the power transformer, so the embedded transformer operating system. Uh. Correct. Okay, then let's have a look in detail um, about every single version. Thank you. So Peter, um, talking about the TAPCON 230 in general, um, yeah, the most known or the most sold AVR of Rheinhausen. Mm -hmm. So a very simple device uh, um, to realize the AVR function. So the new version of the TAPCON 230 is, let's, let's say, simpler than ever before, right? Simpler than ever before. Yes. So what is the secret, Peter? So what uh, makes the device here outstanding? Thank you, Stefan. Unfortunately, I can't tell you the secret. But if you uh, get that unit into your hands the first time, you will see how easy and self-explaining that unit is with the graphic user interface, um, with the option to connect your computer uh, through Ethernet that you already know from the Tapcon ISM uh, or previous units. And uh, well, the whole unit is just a very compact, very easy to use and to understand device. Mm -hmm. So in that case, um, as you said, this is our best Tapcon so far uh, for the compact version. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so far as I know, there is a basic, a pro, and mm -hmm. I think an expert version of the Tapcon uh, exactly. 230 available. Um, what are the features of, of every single version, Peter? So uh. the basic, as the name says, well, is the most basic version of these three options that we yeah. provide for the unit. So the basic doesn't care about a tap position. Well, if you take it straight, this is not mandatory for a voltage regulation. It is nice to have, but not uh, fully required. So this really focuses on the main features. What is the voltage? Where should it be? Raise and lower signals, that's it. Then the Pro mm -hmm. has a lot more options mm -hmm. in terms of digital inputs and uh, digital outputs and analog signals that can be connected. Also, functions like parallel operation are available with the Pro. And then the expert version brings in the SCADA communication. So as the previous version for the Tapcon 230 you Pro uh, Expert, you can simply choose on the device by simply switching in the software which SCADA protocol you want to use. So for example, IC61850 is available as a standard on the Expert unit. Mm -hmm. That sounds good, Peter. So thank you for that. Um, our customers may ask, um, why I should use the Tapcon 230 or uh, which kind of application should be realized with the Tapcon 230? What are our key customers or what is the target group for the Tapcon 230? Well, the Tapcon 230, as I said, is a compact standalone unit of an automatic voltage regulator. Mm -hmm. So if you have, let's say, kind of standard applications for the regulation, if you want to have a reliable unit that brings a nice package of functions, mm -hmm. as I said, depending on what you choose, you can have SCADA communication, yes or no, um, then this is the device for this requirement. Mm -hmm. So uh, a robust version, um, um, a very <coughs> understandable and easy mm -hmm. uh, platform, easy to handle, easy to, to parameterize. Um, yeah, thank you very much, Peter. Tapcon 230. <laughs>
So Peter, let's talk about the next one. Let's talk about the Tapcon ISM. So our more than 50 years of experience are concentrated in the latest Tapcon generation. The result, probably the best voltage regulator we ever had to offer. Uh, with maximum flexibility for current and future requirements, uh, the Tapcon ISM really sets standards, Peter. Mm -hmm. um, what is the difference to the one we saw before, to the Tapcon 230? So what makes the Tapcon ISM unique and outstanding? Thank you, Stefan. Yeah, as you can see now, we're at the 19-inch device level. So this is our premium solution for voltage regulation. Tapcon 230, we have to say this is a compact version, a little bit cheaper version um, that has the basic requirements. Mm -hmm. This one brings all the different options. So if you think of complex AVR requirements uh, or special applications like bank parallel uh, control or three-winding application as well as full phase shifter applications, um, topology and just a few uh, to be named um, can be realized with this version easily. Then as well, the Tapcon limit volt can also be um, yeah, uh, realized with this version of device. So this brings us all the benefits of complex standalone device for automatic voltage regulation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, um, um, just to summarize and to give more features <coughs> and added values to our customers out there, um, the device offers a very intuitive uh, control interface here, you know, display, easy to handle as well, mm -hmm. um, a web visualization, right? It can communicate easily. Um, a USB interface for up and downloads, uh, software updates and so exactly. on. I think the, yeah. the USB port is in the back it's here. It's on the back side, yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. The device supports all kind of common yeah. uh, protocols and communication exactly. uh, systems, IC, uh, Modbus, RTU, DNP. Um, mm -hmm. Everything which is standard is supported by the Tapcon ISM. Yeah, um, a communication redundancy, of course. Um, yeah, finally. I have to say the device really sets standards uh, with maximum flexibility. Exactly. The yeah. Tapcon ISM. Thank you, Peter. Okay, last but not least, Peter, there is an alternative way of realizing the AVR function nowadays. Huh? Mm -hmm. So you probably know ETHOS, the Embedded Transformer Operating System. Now with ETHOS, uh, transformer end users have a huge range of function which can be integrated. Uh, monitoring functions, control functions, and also the AVR function. So if ETHOS operates 
the onload tab changer, you can easily integrate the AVR function into the system behind me. That's correct, Peter, right? Exactly, Stefan, yes. So how, di how this is done physically? So we see Ritos here, Peter, so mm -hmm. maybe you can explain how the system works. Yes, for sure. Thank you. Uh, yeah, exactly. Thank Just you, open. Stefan, for opening. Um, so if you already use a monitoring system from Rheinhausen, an ETOS system, then this is extremely easy to expand that system by just a little bit um, with a tiny software update that will bring you the AVR function into the existing ETOS system. So um, this is really as simple as adding another add to your uh, add application to your smartphone. Um, so you just upload the software update to ETOS and the new function is available. Then you have all the benefits of the 19 inch device of the full uh, application of the AVR integrated in your existing mm -hmm. system. Yeah. And that means also that this unit is already integrated in your SCADA system. So with a minimal effort, you can add this AVR function to your existing system. Typically, systems like the voltage signal are already connected here. So really, the tap position is already there. So all of this is already available. So it's just a tiny bit of software that you need to edit. Okay, so basically we can say it's similar to the Tapcon ISM, but fully integrated into the ETOS. Huh? Exactly. Uh, that brings a lot of benefits for our customers, a lot of added values, Peter. Um, maybe you can let us know some benefits. Indeed, Stefan, yeah, yeah, you get a lot of benefits through that because, as I said, you don't need an additional device for the AVR function. This is already there. All the hardware is mostly already available. Then the software is already there. You don't have a second system that looks and feels and maybe performs differently. It will be identical. And then as well, as I said, the SCADA integration. This is already done typically if you have an existing unit. And then this is just a few more uh, points of information more in your SCADA system and then all of this runs easily and smoothly. Absolutely, Peter. So thank you for that introduction. So mm -hmm. I would like to summarize for our participants out there what did we learn today. Um, we learned something about the Tapcon 230, a compact, robust device, a standalone device, uh, quite flexible. Mm -hmm. um, we learned and we could see something about the Tapcon ISM, uh, the most flexible and uh, uh, the most advanced device, uh, a premium device from Rheinhausen. And last but not least, we saw an alternative solution, an integrated solution um, where the AVR function is yeah, integrated into the ETOS system. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much for supporting. Thank you very Welcome. much for your uh, participation, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I hope you could enjoy, you could learn something. See you next time.